We sold everything we owned to buy a boat and travel the Caribbean. This is our adventure. Stay tuned for today's episode of The Krabby Captain and the Sunny Sailor. Still so much devastation from the hurricane. Another right here. Water. And, oh, what do you think of that? Oh, oh, oh. Why that? is everything blurry? See some monkeys. The shit fans. On the way back, it's on. Traveling from St. Martin to St. Bart's is a 12 mile romp to windward. Because the water is relatively shallow, 100 feet or less, the seas are a lustrous blue color. We're on our way to St. Bart's from St. Martin. And this is the last bit of this thorny path. Thank goodness. Maybe we'll get some sailing in from now on. That would be so nice. The winds got a little fickle after aunts to Columbia, so we gave up on sailing. We are coming upon St. Mark's. And it's beautiful. This is happening. Lovely, lovely, lovely place here. Wow, we are rocking. <laughs> we know we want to come back and explore St. Mark's, but time did not allow us to do it on the trek down. On the way back, it's on St. Bart's. Sun coming up over St. Bart's. Beautiful. Thank goodness Europeans have a very relaxed view on nudity and the natural body. Nude beaches could be found just about anywhere. And this chick got to be free. We only went to St. Kitts and Nevis because the winds were out of south, southeast. If you have north, east, or eastern winds, you want to go to Antigua and pass these islands up because you got a better angle on the wind. Yeah. We had a terrible angle on the wind because the wind was coming out of south, southeast. So we had no sailing to Antigua. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason we went there. If you're coming back, that might be an angle. Okay. Going south, most people go to a team. Next, we travel to the islands that touch the clouds. St. Kitts and Nevis are small volcanic islands that rise steeply from the sea until the peaks touch the clouds. St. Kitts is the highest at nearly 4,000 feet. These high mountains trap moisture which keep them green and lush. 
We stopped in St. Kitts with the plan to check in at Basseterre, but because of the high traffic shipping area, cruise ships, and no protection from the swells, we decided to make our way a bit further down the island. Ballast Bay offered a bit more comfort for cruisers. All the books said that one could check in at the marina there, but it was erroneous. To check into the country, one either had to pay $80 for a taxi ride to get into the city or pay a marina employee $200 to do the check-in for you. So we decided to use our 24 hours that we could be in the country under a Q flag or quarantine flag as it is and then make our check-in for Nevis. Check-in is almost always higher if you do so on the weekend. So we bent the rules just a bit and walked around the town and did our check-in on Monday. Just run a mooring ball. It's real swelly. Not comfortable at all. Hopefully it'll lay down tonight when we go to sleep. We're going to town to get off the boat. Gotta go. Look at his rocking. Side to side to side. still so much devastation from the hurricane. They're still recovering and working hard to do so. Here is the dinghy dock. Here is not the dinghy dock. While the anchorages are beautiful, the main attractions for St. Kitts and Nevis are on land. British territory. English is the main language there. Thank goodness. Uh, give me these two, right? today. We're going to get healed. That's some magical, mystical right here. water. We'll get inside the mineral water spring, hot spring. It's going to be great. Be a younger person, feel better, no more aches and pains. Eh, maybe so. Maybe not. Nevis is blessed with an abundance of geothermal energy. And for hundreds of years, people have flocked to the island to experience the medicinal effects. The Bath Hotel, which was the first luxury hotel built in all of the West Indies, was built in 1778 for the rich and the wealthy. We decided to visit the infamous Hot Springs to reap some of its therapeutic properties. What makes it hot? There's a vein from the mountain. That's all these mountains in the center of the island. Volcanoes. <laughs> <laughs> so is there a temperature difference? Yes, there is a temperature difference. And so right here, you're looking at 115, 120, 109, and 109. That's the temperature? That is a temperature. But yeah. it's not to cook you, not to boil you, it's not to toast you. Okay? Healing mineral water. 3,500 miles Just, <laughs> Just to come to this. I need to be healed. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't work on your brain. <laughs> you want to stick your face in there? I think you I think you ought to just put your whole head in there. After Eddie had constant back pain from a nasty tumble on the boat, we were hoping he would be healed. Are you healing? <laughs> 
This is really cool. Let's see if they work. <laughs> the hot baths are really hot. They are indeed. We're all fleshed and looking very healthy. Looking very healthy. Can I rent some panties? <laughs> Only buy them. <laughs> are covered in rainforests, and at these heights live many thousands of African green velvet monkeys. How did these monkeys get to the island, do you ask? They were brought here as pets by planters and settlers, and their descendants are still here today. And it became my mission to see some dang monkeys. <laughs> The sunshine bar on the beach was a hoot. <laughs> right there in Nevis, there's a picturesque beach with a beautiful, amazing view of the sunset. A bar that made really stiff drinks of many kinds and wild animals that gave me great delight. Sneak up on those donkeys, Michelle. Sneak up. Don't step in donkey poo. All right, she's going in. She's going in. I'm gonna stand very, very still. Let's see. You asked the local moonshine? I asked. Let me ask what the hell's in the bottle. bottle. Oh, oh! Well, that's a cool ass bottle. This is what I've learned today. Get in with me. Turn around. What have you learned today? So, what I've learned is that if you ever see like a strange, different kind of bottle behind a bar, you should always ask what's in it. Because she did, and now she knows local moonshine. What? So, Kara. Here's the local moonshine. Tell us what you think. Bring it on. I gotta get the chicken out of my Okay, well, I'm videotaping that, but you can edit that yeah, out. No, I like that's real. That's oh, that's I very am. real. I keep it real. I keep it real. <laughs> that's me. I right. got steady cam on. So you knock that shit back. Okay. Down the, down the hatch. Here we go. Down the hatch. Smell it. It's gonna be like. Oh, it's a, it's a moonshine. It's a, it's a stiffy. And oh, what do you think of that? Oh, oh, oh. Why that, is everything blurry? That was a look of satisfaction. I like it. Finish it, then blow it. I thought they came out to this beach. Oh, the golf course. Monkey play golf. Yeah. Please, I'm going to the ball. Thank you. Going to look for monkeys. We have to go on the golf course. Apparently, we've been led information by a local. And we're going to find some monkeys. So are the donkeys. So are the monkeys. This is cow. Cow. Tree. Be one with the cow. Aw, oh, such love. 
Now, since I've been on this island, I have been on the hunt for some monkeys. I just want to see some monkeys. I was disappointed to find out that they were mostly in the rainforest. And you needed a car to get up to the rainforest at the top of the mountains to see the monkeys. If I could just see some monkeys, I'm gonna my pants. I want to see some damn monkeys. Where's the monkeys? But our last night on the island, at the sunset bar on the beach, I met the perfect guy to make my dreams come true. Wait, that didn't sound right. No, I didn't sound right. <laughs> Take that out. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> he just brought us <laughs> to his uncle's property, which was nearby, and he knew right where I could see some monkeys. We have found our own monkey tour guide. He's going to lead us to where the monkeys are. It can be epic. Get in the selfie together before this car hits us. Get in the selfie together while we have light. Hi. Oh. <laughs> no. Hi. They're so curious. We're no threat. We love you. So beautiful. Hi. Yeah. Look how long your tails are. I know. Hi, buddy. <gasps> Hi, there's one down there. Hi. Oh, there's two down there. This was perfect, thank you. Thank you. I finally got to see some monkeys! I got to see some monkeys, and I got some donkeys, and I also saw some cows, and I saw all kind of crazy people. It was a good time. Good time. Become a patron on Patreon or PayPal for behind the scenes footage and access to uncensored videos. We appreciate all of your views. Subscribe both on YouTube and on our website. Come back and see us in our next episode. You know you want to.